Right then, I just met the three blokes I met twice before. They didn't really know with them. They're actually going to Cheddar. They've got to follow the West Mendip Way. So they go up here. They want to go on the peak, go on the peak, and then go straight across. <sighs> yeah, for some reason, I missed my little turn in. They might have got rid of it, by the way. So that people didn't walk through their land anymore. <sighs> That's what I think. Because I didn't see the turn in at all. Usually there's a little gap in the fence I used to take. And it had a signpost. I was looking out, I know I was, and I thought, God, this is going on a bit. So anyway, we're on the right track now. Good job I decided to come up here, though, because I would have been well out of my way going that way. Would you? Yeah. There probably was another way up. But I'm just letting the those men go ahead of me, because... They really didn't have a clue where they were going. They'd already walked around in circles once. But they still ended up where I am, because I don't walk fast. And I've had a break. Now, if I hadn't been there, they would have walked. They would have carried on walking. They wouldn't have noticed this track, see? I wouldn't have noticed that. I got hard work to do now. I don't know why you do this, Sheila. You know? I don't know why I'm videoing myself going up here. I'm struggling. Right, folks, I'm going up and up. I'm going to assess the time when I get up the top to decide if I've got time for the peak. If I haven't got time today for the peak, what I'm going to do is come back another day, drive to Winscombe and walk up round it on another route and also fit in St Andrew's Church. So I'm not going to worry about it too much today. I don't really want to miss that four o'clock bus. I, I would prefer a five o'clock, but there isn't one. So I'm going, I'm really being very strictly limited by bus this is what happens folks and I don't want to have to wait to hop or six to tell the truth not really what's the time it's now one o'clock so I've only got three hours now it could take me well, I reckon a good half an hour to get up here alone. Okay? So, the peak might not be on the agenda today. But it doesn't matter, because I've done it so many times. What I'm doing now, and you'll still get good views. What I'm doing now is to exercise my lungs. And it's bloody horrible. But I know it's good for me. Keep going, girl, and turn off. Right then, folks, I've put the video back on because it's quite hectic. I tell you, walking from right down there um, and bumpy, it wasn't level. Now, an hour or so ago, see those trees there? Just above, not, uh, not into the fields, but just above, there's a path, the West Quantuck Way. It takes you around into those trees there, and over there where the plantation is. And I just walked along there, visited the church of Loxton, came along a small lane, and then the route I did take once uh, has disappeared. It's been overgrown really badly, so I couldn't use that one. So I went on to the next one up. 
I met these three young men who I'd met three times before and uh, well you know twice before and they probably could be standing on top now I showed them where the peak was so basically that's what I did I showed them where the peak was Breathtaking views, you've got the Bristol Channel out there. I'm deciding whether to do the peak. I've only got two and three quarter hours. I don't want to rush the whole of it. Over there you've got Banwell Hill Fort with a big round tree on the top. You've got Sanford Quarry there, which I've walked across many times. I've done that route as well across there. around the back way which I can never remember of course can't always remember the back way I could get lost in the in the ferns see go up a bit more shell that's Waverly down over there Go up there. Am I videoing? I don't know if I am. Yeah, you're still videoing. I'm going to weave my way in and out. Now, sometimes when I do this, I get stuck in the middle of nowhere, you know. There, yeah. yeah. I get stuck. But this is where you see the toadstools and things, see? Toadstool there. This is quite nice. I don't like going up that straight way up. I'll come down it. I'm a bit breathless because I ate that cake. Oh, fatal, isn't it? I ate some cake. And there's the peak. I expect this bloke's got up there. And uh, I'm just, what I'm doing to include it, I'm just going to do a circular walk round and then down. Hopefully there's time. If there's not time, I'm going to get, like I normally do, buy a drink and a sandwich, go and sit down on the old railway station, and, and but it's two and a half hours you've got to kill. That's the thing, Shill. Two and a half hours. Right, turning off again for a bit. I think I can hear the music from the bike race over there. I can hear the drums, the jungle music. Right, folks, this is Sheeran, nearly on Crook's Peak. There it is. What I've done, I've included it in the walk. We should be able to just walk up there and straight down to Winscombe. So, that's plan A. 
without having to do any else. Really, yeah. Oh, nearly up the base. So I'm a bit breathless. I've had to take my coat off and put it in my bag, which makes my bag heavy. I am really, really out of breath. Oh yeah, yeah. I am really out of breath. It's been all uphill, folks, and I'm 72 and nearly 73. My legs, fine. Carrying the bag, fine, really. But my breathing's always been bad. Blamed on smoking in the past and being exposed to it all a lot of my life by other people smoke there you go folks the sheepies are greeting me they get everywhere these sheepies saw them on the contacts the other day they had red markings hello hey sheep oh look at this one there look at that one he's a ram Look, zoom in with your camera sheet for this. He's got spots on him. Where is he? Yeah, he's got horns. He's a ram. Definite ram. Um, he's chasing the females. The ewes. He's got... He looks a bit like Maggie, actually. He's got white and black spots on him. And he's in the middle of the pack there. He's the only one with horns. First time I've seen the ram up here actually, and especially one that looks like a Jersey, not a Jersey cow. Um, those black and white cows. Yeah, we go folks, we're climbing up Crook's Peak. Which you can see for miles. It's a reference point I'm always referring to when I'm out and about. Brent Knoll, Crooks Peak, Breen Down, Steep Home. I'm nearly at the top, and I think at the moment I'm the only one up here, everyone. I was right down there earlier in the church. Asking for help and guidance with me heart uh, and uh, whatever. <sighs> well, I often make a little reflections, I call it. I don't call them um, prayers. There is somebody up there. sit on the stone a minute. Oh yeah, yeah. I just want to sit here a minute. Get my breath back. Right, turn this off for a sec.
it somewhere, right? Yeah. Am I still on? Can't bloody see. I don't know if I'm on or not. Turn it off and then turn it on again.